Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. Uh, this is Pip's video about template metaprogramming. In this session, we will learn about non-type non template parameter. In next session, we will learn more advanced non-type template parameter. Okay, let's get started. In Visual Studio 2017, I'm using Visual Studio 2017. Click New Project, Other Project Type, select non-type non-type solution click ok in solution explorer right click add new project select windows desktop windows desktop wizard here non-type 01 click ok here please select console application then unselect pre-compiled header click ok Right click the new project, properties, select all configuration, all platform, C++ language, select C++ 17, click OK. Here, I will first create loop method, a simple program, I would say unsigned sum unsigned n then we are using loop method unsigned s equals 0 for unsigned n equals n uh, i equals n i is greater than 2 minus minus i I will say 1 s plus i no yes return s this is loop method for summation we will turn it to recursive function called then we will use non type template parameter now let's test it let's std c out 1 10 sum loop then 10 std and there now we will change it to Zero. I think I have to change it to zero. Now let's run it. Control F5. Okay, it works. Now we will turn it to recursive function call. Unsigned. Some recursion unsigned n if n less than hmm, greater than 0 we can return return less than 1 uh, less than 2 then we return 1 else return n plus sum recursion n minus 1 now we test this function recursion recursion control f5 okay recursion works now we will turn it please note that when you make a recursive function call this there, this is escape escape close then this is recursive recursive uh, close always think this way always think when you when you make recursive function call always make this pattern escape close or escape statement comes first well, recursive part comes later. 
Okay, this way is easier to understand our program. Now we will turn it into a template class like this. Template unsigned and struct sd uh, sum here static uh, constant int unsigned Uns unsigned value please note that this is and this is for recursive clause here this is primary prime primary template class this this part amounts to recursive recursive clause okay so primary template class please try to make it as recursive clause here so it should be n plus sd sum here we are passing parameter here and we are translating this part into this part here n minus 1 and it it has recursive part value like this this is patterned so please try to remember it then we are creating full specialization specialization of template class here template struct sd sum now this part amounts to this part amounts to uh, escapes clause okay escape clause and so in this case when n is less than 2 means n is 1 it means here n is 1 n is either n is probably 1 because it is decreasing and in this case n equals 2 3 4 here so it should be 1 so this 1 means this n this n okay I will let n equals 1 and in this case n equals 2 3 4 like this then here static constant unsigned value it should be 1 okay now we are using I would say loop function this is recursive recursion function now I will use template here a non type template class here st sum 10 value okay now let's build and run control f5 okay the result is the same say in case of template meta programming when we use uh, this the reason this is called non-type is that when we provide template argument this is non-type this is value so in this is called non-type when we provide like the uh, specific data type like this unsigned we call it non-type template parameter we call it non-type template 
parameter. Actually, unsigned is type, right? But when we call this this template class, we use we provide argument as values. So this is this is the reason why we call it non-type template parameter. Please understand that when you prepare a template metaprogramming using non-type template class, please try to make recursive function function like this, design recursive function first, then translate it into non-type template function. In next session, I will demonstrate more advanced non-type template metaprogramming. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.